Okay, let's talk about AWS Cloud Trail. AWS Cloud Trail is a service that enables governance, compliance, operation oddity, and risk oddity of your AWS account. With Cloud Trail, you can lock, right, and continuously monitor and retain account activity related to actions across your AWS infrastructure. CloudTrail provides event history of your AWS account activity, including actions taken through the AWS Management Console, AWS SDK, command line tools, and other AWS services. This event history simplifies security analysis, resource change tracking, and troubleshooting. In addition, you can use CloudTrail to detect unusual activity in your AWS account. These capabilities help simplify operational analysis and troubleshooting. Now let's move on to the AWS console. If we go to the service, you type cloud trail. This will bring us to cloud trail. You will see all of the event histories, right? So actually they keep track or record down all the events, right? So as which user, right, access what resource. For example, they are accessing S3 bucket, someone delete S3 bucket, someone terminate the uh, EC2 instance, right? So all of the events has been recorded down in the cloud chain. Cloud chain. So for example, the scenario is one day your Node.js application hosting the production environment running on the EC2 instance and, and suddenly you realize the EC your application not available and then you realize uh, the instance EC2 instance hosting the Node.js application is terminated. So you want to know who what really happened, right? Who terminated? At what time, how this guy terminated, right? Uh, what IP address they are using when they send this request to terminate this instance, right? Before this instance is terminated, what is the status of this instance? Is it running or is stopped, right? Before come to this. So, for example, if because they kept the cloud share keep all the events and this is accumulating and it's growing so you will see a lot of events has been uh, captured so you can use a filter for example event name i i type uh, terminate uh, instance for example so you will see terminate instance over here and over here, you will see there is an event terminal instances, and there was the resource type. What is the resource? Uh, is the EC2 instance, right? In, I mean, someone terminal instance. Uh, who is this guy? Username. Uh, what's the time when this event occurred, right? The resource name for this particular EC2 instance uh, with this instance ID will also indicate it. So, and then you can click over here. Then we will find more, right? So you will see the events, right? Uh, is come from this guy using this AWS access key, right? And then this is the IP address, right? Where this request to terminate this instance uh, coming from, right? And this is a user, right? Is a user. Now, so if you click here view events right they will show this in more detail in json format right so as i said so this user come here the user type is root user and then this is uh, information associated with the user account id and then they use this access key id to issue the command uh, to terminate the instance and then this user authenticate using multi-factor authentication multi-factor authenticated the answer is true and then when this creation so this event time happened 
event source basically we say is come from AWS console. So the particular user we describe above using this uh, ec 2amazonawscom and then the user uh, user uh, the issue the command from this IP address, right? Uh, IP address and the AWS region is over here. And then this is the instance ID uh, which has been uh, terminated, right? Then after you issue the command, right? So the instance ID has been shutting down. You see this state, right? Before AWS receive this command to shut down this particular instance, what is the previous state? Previous state of this instance uh, is running, is up and running, right? So with this, you can see these events, right? Uh, uh, we will show what 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 is happening, right? So for operational uh, purpose, for auditing purpose, right? Uh, for troubleshooting purpose, right? So all of this information has been kept. Is how we use this information for whatever purpose. So as highlight over here, uh, the record the event captured. You can use it. Is a lock. Uh, right, you can continuous monitor, and this account activity has been retained because of the lock. So the key thing is the lock, right? Then you can make use of this. So for compliance, because yes, we have this put in the place to monitor, uh, have a lock, continu continuous monitor, and then the account activity. So kind of compliance with a government body. Right, and then are they operational OTT, as we said, who has term terminated this instance by what time and so on and so forth. Do the risky auditing of your AWS account. Right. So in this example, we show uh, uh, the instance, uh, this event is terminated instance, we can figure it out. So of course you can, for example, we, we have one S3 bucket uh, created by someone, so we want to know what happened let's say we come to this event like create bucket right create bucket let's say bucket create bucket Let's say create bucket, right? We notice the event, right? Uh, create a bucket event, and again S three Amazon dot com, right? So what's the bucket name created, right? And then if you find more information, who created this bucket, and then the request is come from which IP address, right? So all the information will be displayed over here. So this is the user information which issue the command or HTTP request to create this S3 bucket. And that is the date time. And then what's the command event is create a bucket, AWS region, source IP address, where the command issue, right? So the user agent over here shows when the user, they use AWS console, uh, specifically AWS S3 console through the GUI, right? GUI. So, of course, to create bucket, we can create bucket from AWS console. So this is a user agent. Uh, you can create bucket from command line interface, right? Uh, also, you can create bucket in your application. Yeah. So all of this information will be able to record it down in the events, right? Event. Yeah. So we show you two examples over here. Right? One is terminated instance, right? Another event we are look at is create bucket. So of course you can see different types of event. You can use filter to filter the uh, events, right? Uh, field events. So this is how the cloud trail can help us to 
lock the events, right? Uh, whenever a user go to AWS console to access the resources, for example, virtual machine or S3, right? They will record that why events, are right? you create or you update or delete, all right? In, in terms of instance resource, uh, someone who provision the instance, who terminate or stop the instance, right? So all of the things will be locked and they will keep the records so that we will be able to continuously monitor what is happening to the resources in under your account. So uh, another thing is you will know this uh, event, right? So uh, as it the keep continuous monitor and they uh, all of the stuff, right? So the data captured will be uh, will be growing, right? Growing, there are more and more data uh, will be come to our uh, system, right? So you can choose to uh, download the events, right? And you can move this event to S3 bucket, right? Then you can set a policy at the S3 bucket level to see uh, after certain, let's say one year or two years, all the records we kept in the bucket S3 can move to Glacier. So you can further, you can keep the records, but you can lower down the cost. Right, so then you can set the policy and all of this, once the policy is set, tested properly, it will be done automatically. Okay, so basically this is the demo. Uh, we talk about cloud trail, right? Cloud trail. Yeah. So this is a short video you can watch as well. As companies move their complex workloads to the cloud, it can be challenging for organizations to analyze and understand everything happening in their AWS environment. Though audit logs provide a wealth of information, sifting through them takes significant time and effort, making it difficult to keep track of changes and threats. AWS CloudTrail makes it easy. With this simple, integrated service, you can seamlessly track and search all account activity, allowing you to monitor user changes, security risks, and compliance. CloudTrail is always on, recording user activity and providing a comprehensive event history, so you can easily see who made changes, where, and when, all at a glance. This enables you to swiftly discover and troubleshoot operational issues, detect security threats, as well as identify any out-of-compliance events. Best of all, AWS CloudTrail works across all regions and integrates with other Amazon and AWS services, such as Amazon Cloud Watch Logs, Alarms, and Events, allowing you to search through log data more easily. When fully integrated, CloudTrail provides security automation, enabling you to program specific responses that can execute as soon as an event threatens your security. CloudTrail also comes with CloudTrail Insights, a feature that can quickly spot unusual operational activity so you can act fast when inconsistencies are detected. Give yourself the peace of mind of knowing exactly what's happening across your AWS environment. AWS CloudTrail, sign up today to learn more. Thanks for watching, goodbye and good luck.